Hello, I'm Sim, a finance geek, a fitness expert and a self-proclaimed foodie and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about on holdings. But before we get started on the finance front, I just want to talk about this delicious tiramisu I had last weekend at Il Boro. If you're from Dubai or you're traveling to Dubai, you have to check out Il Boro and you have to have that tiramisu. It's to die for. Now, being a fitness expert and a fitness content creator on Instagram, I'm usually very up to date with the new sneakers, trends and apparel and on shoes have been on my list since last February. That means February of 2023. I was in Singapore last April and I saw it and I wanted to buy it and I was like, okay, no, it's probably a trend. I don't want to get it. And let's see, is it really worth the price? And almost 11 months later, I placed my order for on shoes on Revolve and they reached me on March 8th. What timing just a few days before they announced their quarterly results. After using it for a couple of days, I think I'm already a fan. I'm not a runner. If anything, I hate running. And here I am wearing it for my workout classes and enjoying running. So I hear all the running freaks who are talking about the Swiss engineered shoe with patented technology that delivers softer landings and supreme takeoffs. And the best part of it is that it adapts to you. And it uses bio-based, high-quality, renewable material to make these shoes and apparel. Like really, what technology? I'm amazed. But thinking back, was it all birds doing the same thing? Maybe they were not into the fitness space, but they were making really comfortable shoes from renewable material to reduce their carbon footprints. And these shoes were adopted by everyone in Silicon Valley. It pretty much became the uniform of the tech bros. But what's happening to all birds today? They are dead, not just on the fashion front, but also in terms of their financials. So is that what's going to happen to on holdings? So let's understand a little bit about what Allbirds was doing and what their journey was like. Allbirds started in March of 2016 and went public on November 3rd, 2021 at an IPO price of $15 a share. It opened up at $21.21 on Wednesday, 41% above its IPO price. In March 2023, Allbirds shares plummeted 47% after disastrous earning reports that included a $101 million loss because honestly the tech bros had moved on and it was no longer part of the Silicon Valley uniform. Allbirds had even hired several Nike and Adidas veterans to run their office who could help in product design, marketing, product market fit. However, with the continued pandemic, inflation and growing cost of customer acquisition, the company just wasn't profitable anymore. And we can see this in a lot of D2C focused companies today. So is on holdings on a similar path like Allbirds? Let's look at their financial statements to begin with. Their sales increased 46.7% from 2022 to 2023, from 1.2 billion francs in 2022 to 1.79 billion francs in 2023. Their gross profit increased by 55%, which is quite significant and it's more than the sales increase, which was due to the lower freight costs since their sales in the D2C segment saw an increase. Their EPS also increased from 0.18 francs to 0.25 francs. Their financial expenses increased from 6.4 million to 11.3 million. It was because they had to put down a commitment fee for the debt they took out of 700 million francs for working capital financing for three years and that may be extended two times for a year. And the facility can also be increased up to 200 million francs. So like we can see from their split here, their sales come 50% from wholesale and 50% from D2C. Similarly, in terms of geography, US is their biggest market, then Europe, then Middle East and Africa and then Asia. Their growth in Asia has been significant though, almost 60% increase and especially strong sales are seen in Japan and China. They did experience some distribution and sales challenges in the US market, which is why you can see a slight decrease in their sales there, but they're already working to fix it. Now, in terms of the product split, 95% of the revenue comes from shoes and 20.4% increase in net sales for shoes for the three month period ended December 31st, 2023, compared to the three month period ended December 31st, 2022, was driven by a combination of new product launches, updates to existing models, and the continuity of successful products carrying over the previous seasons. Growth was primarily driven by their performance running and performance all-day verticals. The Roger franchise, benefiting continuously from the increased brand presence at Grand Slam events, 
further contributed meaningfully to their growth in net sales. On Holdings reported their Q4 2024 results on March 12th and the stock price fell by 15%. The target price for the stock is $35 and it's currently trading at 33.28 or so. So unless you want to make $2 a share from a quick trading opportunity, I wouldn't recommend buying the stock at this point. Growth is slowing down from last year's hyper growth 90% pace and I still think it's not a good time to invest in On Holdings. Its D2C focus is increasing and the brand is quite clear that marketing is key for them to maintain their brand presence and loyalty. So I won't be investing in D2C focused brands right now till there's a clearer path for consistent and continued profitability. As a consumer, I totally recommend trying out the on shoes, but as an investor, I don't think it's a good fit right now.